know, I would say the most difficult thing, I guess it's just getting the message out and really tapping in to the frontline people. That's the, um, the, the homeless uh, spots, right? The soup kitchens, the nonprofits, the org groups, the mutual aid groups. But we need to step our game up even harder this year. My name is Michael Sierra, and I am the co-founder of Meals on One Wheels, a direct action project group increasing Stokes all over the globe. Uh, where we're at right now is we're finishing up this beautiful and pivotal year of Stokes and love building in Sacramento, California, man. Our second time around with the Float Life. Major shout out to Bodie and Elijah. Be distributing over 200 meals with a bunch of essential items that have been donated by everybody online. So my name is Evelyn Cadet and I am the co-founder um, with Meals on One Wheels. We are actually going to feed 200 unhoused community members here in Sacramento around on our One Wheels. All right, uh, my name is Vanessa and I'm from Folsom and I help run a group called Gold Country One Wheel on Facebook and then I am here today with Meals on One Wheels which I have been doing since April of 2021 in this very spot in Sacramento. I am a permanent volunteer on the team. So Meals on One Wheels actually started um, back last year, November 2020. Mike actually met me at a Float Addicts group ride in San Francisco. I said, Ev, I would love for you to come and shoot a video at my house for my outreach and give out food to people and my neighbors in Oakland. From there, she came through and made a video and exploded our presence. Uh, we pretty much just said, hey, like, why don't we distribute these meals on one wheel? And everybody loved it, so, you know, this is how we came to be. And we're officially a nonprofit now, so starting um, April 2021, I believe, is when we started um, getting our paperwork processed. So in about 15 to 20 minutes, we'll be ready to dip. So, you know, check your board, make sure you're ready to go, and, and just chill for about 15 minutes, all right? Appreciate y'all, thank you. So how I got into one wheeling was through a friend of mine. He's actually here today. He runs a shop for one wheels, Relentless. So it's Justin. Um, he had a boss who had a one wheel and he just kind of randomly told me about it. I saw it, I thought it was crazy. Uh, didn't want to try it. A couple months later, he got a pint and he started just riding it around, taking video clips and I bought my very own. So I started with the pint and three months later, I bought an XR and I haven't looked back since. Um, I copped a one wheel last year um, during the pandemic, uh, something to just raise my spirits up. Um, I saw a, a wheel area float addicts flyer for a mega ride and was introduced to a beautiful and a, just a wonderful and embracing community. How did I find out about Meals on One Wheels? Um, it was through Instagram, and I was following a lot of pages that had one wheel hashtag. I saw this one come up, and I started seeing them do this outreach in San Jose. That was their first one. We would message, and you should come, you should come, and I would say, I don't, I don't know if I can come out. And when they decided to reach out about coming to Sacramento, I decided that I had no excuse left. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make the plans, come out. I started getting in their meetings, and I helped them plan the food vendor and like the setup for this event in April of 2021. And so I came out, I did it the first time and I was hooked and now I do every single one that I can. If you're ready, bring your board. Just have a bag in each hand over here. We have a lot of options to be able to volunteer and help out. We're definitely in need of funding, so donations to our GoFundMe account. We also need blankets and the sweaters, jacket to help provide warmth for our unhoused neighbors. Stuff that are uncanned, uh, just because uh, you know they might not have a can opener. Just helping us with social media to get this word out. And right now what you see is the end result. We hit 12 different cities. We fed over 2,000 people. Um, right now we branched off to Boston and Canada. So we're not only um, national, we're global. Spreading this stoke and this mission of giving back and riding um, our wheels, man, and spreading stoke. So some of the things that I have personally learned are to step out of my comfort zone, um, ask for help, 
that's basically the biggest thing for me is just like learning that it's okay because I'm a little intimidated sometimes with going out and sharing like hey we need resources uh, that's the biggest growth that I've gotten from it and like learning what areas I'm strong at and what I can do to help so what we're trying to do is we're trying to humanize the process man all of our team, we don't even live in the same city, right? We, we're, we use social media, we use with what we have, direct action, right? Community economics is using what we have right now with who we have. So that's tapping into our friends. Everybody plays a part. You don't have to show up here. A lot of the people have donated online via our Venmo, our PayPal, our GoFundMe, physically at fundraisers, at restaurants and bars, schools, um, church groups. Everybody can get involved and you can start by liking us on Instagram, Mills on One Wheels, and following us at onewheelmills.com and sharing it with your friends. It doesn't cost any money to share. We've been able to feed thousands of people and have a global reach of social media. So everybody plays a part. Like, donate, share, engage in the comments. You don't have to financially compensate. People have time, no money. People have money, no time. This is a place where everybody can plug in with our streams of resources to a river of abundance. And we show up and finish the work here. I just want to say thank you. If you're watching this, this has been an absolute dream of mine and this is medicine. You know what I mean? Um, none of us are getting paid for this. This is just out of love and we see the bigger picture of how to increase the stoke. And if you notice over here, there ain't no politics over here. All races, all age, all creeds. Love packs through direct action, man. So I just want to say thank you for uh, giving, giving me the platform. And I want to say Eddie and House of Intent too, bro, for sharing your platform. And I want to thank everybody for playing their part. This is just the beginning. Help us, bro. Hopefully I see you here and hopefully I see you online in one of our meetings, bro. It's completely open. Reach out to us. Shoot us a DM, instant message, email. I'm here. I need your help, bro. Let's increase this stoke.